Get a stop, get a stop, bro. Get a stop, get a stop. Foul, foul, foul. I fouled up. <laughs> like, like, what the oh, fuck, really? bro? We lost the hard part, fucking King Carter, bro. Chat. What's good, y'all? Um, Today, I'm here to show y'all the best, and I mean the best post score build that y'all have ever seen. The badge on it is crazy. Listen, I'm telling you, when y'all get your hands on this build, y'all gonna understand why I've been going crazy in the wreck, crazy in the park, crazy. It's even, even for my career. It's easy. Everything is easy. Look, stay tuned. I'm gonna let y'all know why this shit is it. Simple. All right, so boom, chat. Look, we make it. Obviously, it's a center. I didn't really, I didn't really uh, like how the power forward looked. On with the center now this center right here is amazing you got seven one so the height now the height is gonna scare a couple people because a lot of people like the small build the smaller centers the six nines and the six tens with high vert so you go up and get the ball and you still quick enough i'm telling you you don't have to worry about speed with this build trust me seven one wait 222 wingspan seven five i'm telling you the, the, the defense on this build, I'm going to show, you know what? I'm going to throw a clip in right here. So, no, I didn't. Woo. Now, y'all seen that, right? I jumped out the gym for blocks. Trust me, I do this shit. And obviously, the body shape, whatever y'all want, I went with Bill. Now, y'all can get a good look at the stats. This is the complete breakdown of the build 30 finishing 25 shooting eight playmaking and 30 defensive now some people may be like i, I want some more shooting badges there's, there's something for that if you go to villanova for your, in, in college for your my career that's plus four shooting badges plus if you already go through the entirety of the seasons you'll get plus one to every category so the so the limit for this build as of this season is 31 finishing, 30 shooting, nine playmaking, and 31 defensive. Now, if you're telling me that ain't crazy, you crazy. Now look, the last post score that I made, it had no driver dunk. It was such a liability. Driver dunk, even if it's only on 72. I don't get many, uh, I don't get many animations with having that 72, but just the ease of being able to pick and roll instead of only being stopped at doing a pick and pop, though, no, it's super helpful bro um standard dunk obviously doesn't need to be said post control doesn't need to be said at, at these levels you're able to get all of the attributes that you need close shot you need this at a 99 to get hook specialist so if you if you really like to do the hook shots which i do i'm starting to incorporate them more into my game i would suggest that y'all put this on 99 honestly now i the layup and the dunk doesn't give you much but the standard dunk you can see you can see right here what it all affects it, now rise up i don't really use rise up the only thing i need out of here was fast was fast twitch and fast twitch and posterize it y'all gonna need those because when you get that board it feels like you're you're stuck in in quicksand sometimes when you try to put or get the put back up so with fast twitch you ain't even gotta worry about that perfect you gonna be good and post and post control you need you need it for the uh drop step you need it for the dream shape and most importantly back down punisher i stopped at an 85 because that this is the highest uh stat that is required of it hall of fame back down punisher because we have a lower strength build is going to really save us in the situation where we're trying to back somebody down you know what i'm saying and and mid-range three point i maxed those out you know what i'm saying we need to be able to shoot that, that i didn't really take badges into consideration i just put them bitches all the way up you know what i'm saying free throw if you play right, you need a free throw. So all the 25 free throw, and it's only one at, uh, overall point. So you're not missing much by not having it. So again, if you have a part build, you don't even need this free throw. You can tweak the build however fits you. But since I play rec a lot, 78 was good. Now this pass accuracy, I put this on 71 just so I can get a uh, break start on gold. And when I get break start on gold, and that's another that's another badge for the rec. That's something that I'm gonna need. Because you need you need, need break starter or you need whoever catching the ball to have glue hands. And a lot of people not trying to waste their badge points on glue hands. So I'm the one I'll take I'll bite that bullet and use five of my eight 
on break start to go whenever I get it. You know what I'm saying? No ball handle, no speed with ball. A lot of people have also been asking me, why, why do you have such a low speed with ball? Why do you only have a 25 speed with ball? You don't need high speed with ball. It, listen, in some in some of the clips that I'm gonna show, you're gonna see me move around. I'm not I'm not quick, but I am by no means like this slow, just qu stuck in quicksand type of player. No, you I can still move. Not as quick as the others, but I can still move. So you don't need speed with ball, honestly. Uh tier defense the same as the others. I made sure that I was able to hit uh certain requirements and while also keeping everything, you know what I'm saying, in a in a nice level. Hall of Fame badges weren't really concerning me. I wanted to make sure I had a lot of good badges on gold. And a lot of the good defensive badges, like Menace, Menace is really good. It's only in clamps are, are exclusive to guards. So I just made sure I had brick wall on gold. And I was good, really. Everything, everything else comes with the block. Remember defense, I put it up just to put it up. I mean, it's better, it's better at 30 than 25. But if you want to use them points somewhere else, you can. Steel, I put it, I put it to uh 60 specifically so I can get bronze pickpocket. Because you need because you need to have your steel at least 56 to get bronze pickpocket. So I wanted pickpocket, that's why I put it at 60. And my block 98. I wanted rim protector hall of fame. That was something that I needed. You know what I'm saying? And for everybody who doesn't know, Chase the Hardest this year, it's excellent. It's one of the better badges in the game. I got a Hall of Fame. You might, you, you probably only need it on bronze, but the the blocks I get, my career nine blocks a game. Brett nine blocks a game. Park six blocks a game. Like it's crazy the amount of blocks you can get because everybody is just trying to force it in the paint, and it's not gonna work on this build. I'm telling you, you gonna be a force in the paint offensively and decent defensively. Honestly, now the low rebound I have an 83. The max is like 85 anyway for both of them. I don't really see a problem with me having an 83 uh, rebound. I haven't really been getting boarded over. It may be like one or two games where somebody has a pure glass cleaner, like glass cleaning finisher. Maybe they'll get some boards over. But other than that, no one's really getting boards over you. As long as long as you have box and, and, and worm, you're good. Honestly, you're good. Speed 70. Now, listen, my first build was 611 and had a 64 speed ass. Garbage. This build, I'm I'm running up and down the court like I'm Giannis. I'm telling you, I'm getting there. This speed also on pick and rolls is so helpful because all, all the bigs are so so much slower than you are. You're gonna go right past them. You know what I'm saying? So you good. I'm telling you, good. Now the low strength, a lot of people also ask me, is strength important at this point in time? Because people don't have badges, I'm not hundred percent sure. But from what I've gotten when playing comp bigs, people who have 80 plus, 90 plus win percentages, when they try to back me down, it just don't work. They, it, no effect. It's, it's as if I have 90 strength. On my other build, I had a 95, 99 strength, actually. Then the same thing happened. It felt like I was playing on my old build. So strength, honestly, in my opinion, doesn't matter. And this allows you to get faster speed builds. But... If you want to try to build with more strength because you feel like you don't want to be a baby in the paint, I understand. Personally, I wouldn't do it. I would tell you to go with the low strength, higher speed. And the vert, again, be able to jump on them rebounds and them blocks, need it. Now, I'm not I'm not going to be jumping out the gym when it comes to, to, to dunks. But them blocks, I'm getting them bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm jumping out the gym for them. I'm jumping across court. For these blocks, I'm telling you, vertical is necessity. And obviously, stamina, we are big. We need it. Now, for the takeovers, before I had post shot first and spot up second. But as I see with my game, I seem to, I seem to only, I seem to shoot first, like spot up. And then I go into my post shot. So I put this first. But there's, there's plenty of bads you can pick from. You get, you get sharp take, you get, uh, the defense take for the bigs, obviously. Glass cleaner, and then you get post. You have a, a wide variety of, of choices. Whatever fits you best, you pick those takeovers. Plus, it's easy to get my mentality this year. So you don't really even got to worry about which take you're going to be stuck with. You're going to be able to change them on the fly. But these are the uh, these are the ones I like to go with. And that's, that's the build. The build's excellent. Amazing. 
two-way three-level score. The name is eh, but you see what the shades are. This build, when you see it in action, bro, it's easily top tier, one of the best bigs. It can shoot, it's fast, it can play amazing defense. And the post game is so underrated, it's crazy. Post phase this year are one of the best shots you can take from the midi. It's, especially when you're on twos. Listen, the build speaks for itself. Try it out, use it. It's excellent, it's amazing. I stand by 100%. And if y'all end up using this build, let me know in the comments how it's going for you. Cause I can tell you it's going great for me. Please try it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more build videos. Uh, I will be coming out a video with my best SIGs and my jump shot. And I have a little secret for how to get the jump shot that you know you need. Because I know a lot of people see the 7-1 uh, that can't get the jump shot they need. I got you. I promise you I got you. But uh, yeah, man, W Bill.